Well, hello, 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 everyone. So welcome to Limitless Healing, episode nine. So today we're gonna to be talking about the 14 day holiday challenge. So why do I wanna go over this topic? It's because this time of year is usually when people start to let themselves go. Uh, and I wanna help y'all to try to avoid that and actually preset yourself, speed up your metabolism, so that way maybe you can lose a couple pounds into the holidays and also make sure you know you don't have those cravings for inflammatory foods. One of the things that I notice quite often is this time of year, it starts off, we have every single good intention out there to make sure we're avoiding all of the uh, figgy pudding or whatever other sweet treats that you might like. We do a good job mentally thinking that we're going to avoid them. And then once we have a little bit of it, it starts to become addicting. And there are reasons for that. So if I can help to train you to be able to eat healthy, know how to portion size a little bit better, and again, jumpstart your metabolism, you're not gonna have those same cravings. So why do I wanna do this 14 day holiday challenge? It's because, well, really, it's good to kind of detox yourself from all of this stuff that we've been going through this year, whether it's, you know, you've been in one of our programs where you're killing off toxins, uh, which again, is gonna release things out into the liver that need to get excreted, or if you've just been breathing in crummy air or whatever it might be, maybe you were put on pharmaceuticals at some point this year, we want to get rid of those toxins before the holiday season. So this is what I have set up for y'all is how to do it. It's very, very easy. I made it completely foolproof out uh, to the point where my two year old could mentally do it. He can't physically do it because he's way too young, but he can understand it too. So <clears throat> we're gonna go over what the cleanse looks like, okay? what the detox looks like, why some of the very uh, strong properties of the detox and um, ultimately what we're doing. Because at the very end, we're actually gonna be talking about an offer for everyone who does this. Um, you're gonna have a reward, it's up to a $500 reward for whoever wins the competition. So I'm gonna turn it into a competition too, because why not? So this will want you to get your friends, your family members to jump in on this as well. So that way you all are all getting on the same path together and it's always easier to do these things when you have a, an accountability partner okay so let's go over some of the details here i'm gonna pull up my little screen here okay awesome all right so before we get started here as well this if you i mean you can you can mentally absorb this information but for those of you who are pregnant uh, breastfeeding or you have some sort of inflammatory bowel issue that you're already aware of this cleanse this detox is not for you okay so I just want to make sure I'm, I'm very 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 clear on that going into this because if your if your your body can't get rid of and it can't excrete toxins properly uh, it's going to reabsorb that back into the bloodstream and we don't want that to happen that's when we don't get the proper results uh, that we're aiming for so who this is for is somebody who wants to jumpstart themselves, jumpstart the metabolism before the holidays, uh, maybe lose a few pounds. I mean, that's going to be one of the measurements on how we know we're doing the right thing. Um, and again, there's going to be a step-by-step -step guide that makes this completely foolproof that I'll talk about towards the end. All right. So <clears throat> let's get into the nitty gritty here. So first off here, we have two different phases of detoxification. So we're going to get kind of nerdy here for a couple seconds. Those of you who know or have been on my show before, you know I like to go nerdy, come on, I have to. So when we have phase one and phase two of detoxification, some people actually have a speedy phase one where we're breaking down toxins phenomenally, but our phase two is pretty sluggish. It's like the tortoise and the hare. Phase one is the hare, it's, it's running as fast as possible, and phase two is like the tortoise, it's just slowly trying to excrete the toxins okay and so what's going to happen is it's like trying to shove more and more toxins and in, into this tiny itty bitty hole and it's just going to start overflowing and spilling out and that's going to go back into the bloodstream now what's really important to know is when you're doing phase one of detoxification there are certain nutrients that are involved but you're breaking things down from a toxic material or a toxic state into a kind of a, a more toxic state you know in an intermediate metabolite that has to be excreted and got, gotten out of the body, okay? So if we're throwing too much support in phase one and we're just throwing it and throwing it and throwing it, and phase two is sluggish, you're going to get bogged down, you're gonna feel terrible doing the detox, 
you're going to have a spillover effect. And that's when a lot of people say, oh, those are detox symptoms. You're doing a great job. It's like, no, that's not how it's designed. It's a very inefficient detox. Uh, you should be able to detox without feeling like you're dying, you know, half to death. Uh, especially when you have all the nutrients you need because everything should start to jumpstart. You should start to get some energy as well. And then again, metabolism, excretion is all on par as well. Okay. So we want to basically work on increasing uh, what's called a, the cytochrome P450. And that's our detox pathways. And there's, again, certain nutrients that are going to do it that are built into this, this cleanse, this detox for you um, that are going to make it very, very, very efficient. So phase one, and phase two are working synergistically. They're working together to get you that desired result, which is to have less toxins in your body afterward, okay? So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna have specific nutrients, we're gonna have specific dietary advice as well. So uh, this was a question was posed yesterday on one of the groups that I shared this too. So there's going to be a meat-based version or a paleo version of this. And then there is like a vegetarian and a vegan based version of this cleanse as well. So if you're looking to do this, make sure you specify which one you want. Uh, my preference, I like the, the paleo one. Uh, you get some bone broth in there too. It has some gut healing properties. I, I enjoy that. That's what I will be doing. But if you want to do the vegetarian or the vegan based, then we can do that one for you as well. Just to kind of set that out there for you. There are going to be diets that go along with it because if you're doing high carbohydrates, it actually slows down your breakdown. It slows down your detoxification pathways. So as you're doing this detox, you're going to have specific dietary guidelines, specific recipes, shopping lists, etc., meal plans that you can cook that are going to be lower on the carbohydrate end. And that's why, because we want to make sure that as we're doing this, we're not taking things to speed up and accelerate detoxification then we're putting toxins back into our mouth so it's what we say is we detox and then we retox detox and retox we're already doing it enough just breathing air why would we do it with food so again just to set the precedent here we want to make sure we're staying on track with our food because honestly lifestyle is one of the biggest factors that we have to change when you want to be healthy and the reason being is because most people do live more of a toxic lifestyle if you don't, this is still a great cleanse for you. It's still a great outline, okay? One of the supports that we have here is gonna be our glutathione support. So glutathione, you've probably heard of it before. It's like your master detoxifier, so, so, so important. But you also have precursors to glutathione, all right? And it helps us with detoxification pathways. So if we don't have, all right, if we don't have our proper detox pathways open, we don't have our sulfur donors, then we're not gonna have proper detoxification. We're not gonna have proper glutathione production. Again, very, very, very important to make sure we're having this. It also helps with a little bit of energy there as well. So going into the glutathione, we switch into the sulfur-based components. So there are certain things that I've talked about on some of my other videos of my adrenals. Um, if you've seen a Dutch test or a Dutch complete test, you've seen how um, you have DHEA and then you have DHEA sulfate that comes off on there. And so sulfate, sulfur is a pathway that you need to have opened up. So if you have poor sulfonification or you don't have enough sulfur compounds in your body, you won't be able to build your DHEA sulfate up and it's gonna push down and sometimes it can lead to PCOS, endometriosis, prostate cancer, because it's gonna push down the five alpha DHT pathways. So having these sulfur compounds, not, as, not only is it good for building up your glutathione support, but it's also good at helping you to make your hormones the way that they're supposed to be flowing versus being bottlenecked in areas that are not supposed to be going, okay? The other thing that sulfur compounds do is they aid in methylation. So there's a buzzword or a buzz snip that a lot of people talk about with MTHFR, which is the mother effer, um, <laughs> and it stops or it slows down your ability to be able to methylate, which can be very damaging to the body but if you properly supplement things in, you can actually speed up your methylation in a good way, um, and sulfur compounds help with those pathways. So again, as you're on this detox, these are stuff I'm talking about, you don't have to worry about because it's all built into this for you. So literally you're just like, doc, shut up and just give me what I need to take. It's all built out, okay? I'm just doing this because I'm nerdy, I love this information and I wanna share it with you. It's also what makes these programs unique is these actual properties because not all detoxes are created equally. equally. All right, we have you know, juice ones, we have this, we have that. 
not all these detoxes are like this because we're giving you all the nutrients that you're going to need for your phase one and phase two of detoxification. It's really amazing how this works. Okay. Now we have another thing called glucuronidation. All right. Another mouthful, glucuronidation. If we have high glucuronidation, we can have problems. We can have issues. Pardon me one second. With our detoxification pathways, but we can also have issues with our bowels. So if we have high levels of uh, glucuronidation or we have high levels of what's called beta glucuronidase, that's not a good thing. That's not a good day in the life of you because if we have those things happening, sometimes it can lead to constipation or sometimes constipation can lead to high beta glucuronidase, but the high risk factor is gonna be that it can cause estrogen receptor cancers, colon cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, okay? Those big ones it can be caused from high beta-glucuronidase. So what we're gonna do is in this blend of nutrients that you're gonna be taking in is a, a product called uh, calcium deglucurate, deglucurate. It's gonna break down beta-glucuronidase and it's going to allow for proper excretion of those estrogens to get out of the body so that they don't recirculate through. Okay, so this is really important. If this is the only thing that you get from this video, this is massively important. So doc, are you saying that are you saying that this detox can cure cancer? I'm not saying that, okay? I, I can go into videos on that, but it can help with the breakdown of beta-glucuronidase that if you have it high on a stool marker that maybe you've run, you're probably already, well, you will be already on it if you're working with me, but if you have that or you're not sure if you have it, it helps with the breakdown of estrogens and it reduces your chance of having estrogen dominance. And oh, I don't wanna go too far in it. It'll just reduce estrogen dominance. Let's just go with that so that way I don't get too sidetracked this morning, okay? So, <clears throat> yeah, so um, going down, okay. So you have another another ingredient or another set of things in there called molybdenum. okay? Molybdenum is gonna help with getting rid of environmental toxins in, that, in the body. So if you're in a highly polluted area, um, you know, if you're in Pittsburgh, the air quality is not exactly the best. We're breathing in toxins on a daily basis. If we don't have good uh, quality molybdenum, we have a difficult time with getting rid of it and excreting those extra toxins in our body. It can really bog us down and make us very poisonous. So it's very important to make sure we have this ingredient in with our cleanses too, so we're pulling out the pollution from the outside in, back out, okay? Otherwise, we're just gonna be, get bogged down with more pollution. Another thing that we're obviously gonna have antioxidants or antioxidants oxidation think about rust okay joints or not joints hinges i use hinge and joints kind of interchangeably when i work with the spine when we have oxidation we have rust we have corrosion we have damage we have high oxidation we have a high risk for cancers again so we talked about the beta glucuronidase we talked about high oxidation if we have those two stacked together, it's a very rough day for you. And this isn't like the first stage problem. This is this problem has been there for a while. So this is why antioxidants are so important is it helps to reduce the oxidation level in the body. So that way we're not corroding more or less. We're not breaking things down and our bodies can heal properly. So we have to have proper antioxidant support to get you back to normal. All right. This one is my favorite. I love the, for whatever reason, I love the liver and gallbladder a lot. Um, a lot, a lot, it might be a problem. <laughs> so we want liver and gallbladder support. So we know when we're doing detoxes, obviously we're gonna be working with the liver, we're gonna be working with the kidneys because we're gonna increase and speed up urination as well as um, you know bowel transit. But we have to make sure that our bile products are at the right consistency so that way it's not gum pushing out into our colon and binding everything down. As we're pulling in toxins from our body, well, we're breathing them in, we're putting them in our tissues as we're detoxing, we're pulling them back out, putting them through the liver, putting them through the kidneys and shoving them down to get out of the body. If we get constipated or we can't move those toxins out, we're gonna have more toxins that are gonna be excreted back out into the bloodstream. So just like I was talking about with the estrogens, if we're not properly eliminating these things, then it's just gonna bog us down further and we're just gonna have more toxins going throughout the body. So again, another sign where people say, hey, your detox is detox symptoms. Well, maybe you're constipated and you're not having the bowel movements. So the stuff that you have in these products will aid in proper bile consistency 
so that when you're excreting things from the liver out into the colon, down out, out of the out of the rectum there, you will have proper excretion of toxins. It's massively important. You don't want to basically push toxins into the into the bowels. That's why I talked about irritable bowel, Crohn's, colitis. If you have one of these things going on, this cleanse is not for you. This detox is not for you because you have to work with me first and heal that up before you get to that detox state. Okay. All right. Glucomannan. All right. So glucomannan is going to be another thing that we're going to have. It's basically a fiber support. Okay, because again, when you're having toxins pushed out in the colon, we need something, we need a fibrous compound to bind this stuff up to pull it safely out of the body. So this is going to be found in this uh, detox kit for you. So that way, again, you don't have to know any of this stuff that I just went over, but it is important for me, for you to know this stuff because it's your body. This is how the detox works and it's phenomenal stuff. Okay, so what we're doing here, what is my goal for this year? So my goal ultimately is to try to end this year with a bang in a good way, okay? Because we've had enough, we've had enough stress, we've had enough crap happen this year. We've had people gaining the quarantine 15, quarantine 20, 30, 40, stress out of their minds. People are hurting, people are breaking down time and time again. So now it's time to invest into you. So when we do these detoxes, we do these cleanses. We're just going 14 days. I'm taking it easy on you guys. We have longer ones that we can do, but just give 14 days. Everyone can do this for two weeks. Helps to set some things, uh, principles in play. Allows you to have access to our app as well. So even after you're done with the detox, you can still have access to the app to be able to track your bowel movements. How are you feeling? How are your food? Do you want us to reset you on a different type of dietary program as well? You have access to all of this stuff post cleanse or post detox. So there's a lot of value that really gets pinned into this program and it's to reset, restart and get you healthy again, but then allow you to have an app that we use, the Well World app that's designed to work with me to build up programs that's going to be successful for you. Now, what we're doing is we're having this as a competition. So what are the basis of the competition? Well, why not start with just weight? And I know that weight is just a number, trust me, I get it, but it's a starting point for us. So if we do a weight measurement and a waist measurement, okay, just two, keep it simple, you can track that in the app as well. You track those and what we'll see is a difference between the two from pre and post, just 14 days, okay? So the biggest, uh, the biggest loss or the biggest change in the right direction would then be declared the winner. And what does the winner win? Well, the winner wins a free adrenal stress profile, all right? It's a salivary test. You just basically, you know, spit some saliva in the tubes, the directions are all in there. And it basically allows me to see what your cortisol and what your stress is doing throughout the day. And if you have a phase one, two or three adrenal problem, okay? So you win that test as well as a test read with me. That's about a $500 value for the two of those. And why am I doing that? Because I know that this time has been more stressful than any other time in my 30 some years of life that I've ever, ever, ever seen. So if I could just help one person with their stress to be able to get through these times so that way they don't detonate through the holidays, that would be and mean the world to me. Okay. It would absolutely mean the world. So we're going to have that out there. We're going to have the winners uh, or the winner chosen based off of the, the metrics there. And whoever wins will announce it on here as well. Maybe we'll do a shared Facebook Live too, if he or she wants to, uh, and we'll go through the process together. The other thing that I wanna do is offer this to you. So for what I said previously, it's always easier to do this with friends and family members. So what I'm gonna do is if you get five people, all right, five people, including yourself, so you and four other people, to do this cleanse with you, your detox is free. All right, so I'm throwing a lot of stuff out there for you. Why? Because I'm sick and tired of people being sick and tired. I just want to deal with this stress and get people to be the healthiest versions of themselves possible so that way we can end 2020 with a smile instead of with a massive, massive frown. So if you're interested in doing this cleanse or you're interested in doing this detox, please reach out to us, uh, direct message us through Facebook here, um, or if you're seeing this on YouTube, or anywhere else, please feel free to get a hold of us. Now, if you're somebody who has shared this video to your page or you tagged somebody in this, uh, they can do that. Your friends, your family members can do the same things. Okay, you can have them reach out, 
get it all set up and we'll, we'll tell you what the total is based off of what program you decide to go with. And again, you can do the paleo side or the vegan and vegetarian based side. Just let us know that so Cynthia or Megan or myself can get you the proper program. So in the end, not all detoxes are created equally. You have to make sure you know what you're putting in your body. I always pride myself on using the best of the best ingredients, materials, supplements that are out there. So you can join me and use the same products I use to put into your regimen. I will be doing this detox with you guys. So I'll be there, I'll be through the trenches, I'll be following through all my dietary recommendations. Um, if you're a patient of mine already, you're more than welcome to join the bandwagon on this too. Just remember if you've had your food reactions tested, swap out some of the ingredients so that way you're not eating something that's inflammatory to you. Okay, I'll be doing that for myself. You can do the same thing. So everyone, happy Halloween. I guess I should have started with that. Happy Halloween. Have an awesome weekend. If you're going trick-or-treating, um, you know, try not to eat all the candy. And when does this start is the other question. Sure as heck not gonna start it next week. Why? It's the election next week. Whether whatever happens, I don't want the root to fall out from you. So we're gonna start the following week. All right. So we're gonna be in November. I believe it's November 9th is when the start date is going to be. But we have to make sure that we get this this done, make this decision as soon as possible so that way we can get the supplements and the kits that you need to you. So that way you can be ready to go. So when we pull the trigger on it, boom, we'll have the start and we'll have the end point. The other thing real quick that I don't want you to do is binge eat all next week so that way you can lose more weight the following two weeks. Don't do that to yourself, all right? We're trying to be healthy, we're not trying to be toxic. So if you have any questions, reach out to me. Otherwise, have an awesome day. I know it's freezing cold, my car is frosted this morning, so I'm not used to that quite yet, but have an awesome day. Love y'all and have a blessed, blessed, blessed Halloween.